We're at New Ferris Stadium in Snuffalo, home of the Snuffalo Thrills. Now, I've uh, heard that they're changing the name of the stadium, Bricks. It's undecided what the new name will be, however. You know what they should call it? Dave. Dave is a nice name, especially for a place that has outdoor seating, you know? Oh, my God. This guy's a train wreck today. And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Tokyo Terminators take on the Sniffle Thrills. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Grim Blitzrow here along with Brickhead Mulligan. That's me. And his mutant hobbit head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. How about you shut the fuck up? Well played, Jr. Moving on. And he just slipped away. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. And it's first and ten. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Ben? Deadline ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Second down and ten. Great play by the defense results in an interception. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Oh, man, he really wants it. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. They've called a zap attack. Oh, and he fumbles the ball on that hit. When you hurdle and get hit, chances for a fumble increase. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Mama, just call him Captain Crunch. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> First and four. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about bad hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Second down and nine. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the brutal hit! Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over! Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now.
And it's first and ten. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And it's first and ten. down with a nice piece of running there. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot eight. With another pick, the QB says, I don't know how much throw interceptions, but... Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. <laughs> and it's first and goal here. Defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> First down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two. He's not going down, and he picks up two yards on the catch. Second and three. Hot, hot one. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense. And like bricks and fouls, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. to have your teeth removed with oh holy montezuma's revenge that's a crap your pants and die tackle oh, that montezuma was very vengeful wasn't he bricks wonder what made him so mad that was probably all the diarrhea well, you're probably right yeah they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort and he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to mexico off to crap their pants uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through because you know he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives but what the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? <laughs> and it's first and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast hammer sandwich with extra mustard for the... Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. First down in inches. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. Yeah. 
and it's first and ten. Ah, another interception. Easy. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. He refuses to go down. Picks up two yards on the pass. And this guy's six feet tall. He could just have fallen over and gotten two yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. Hot one. Hot two. Hot Looks like he just saw 400 scary movies. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. And apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. He zings it in there for a four yard gain. Second down and six. Hot, hot one. Oh, nice hit. And that'll bring up third and one. That's another turnover for the defense. Man, what a hit. That guy is not getting up. And it's first and ten. hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Second down and nine. And so at the end of the first quarter, we've got a scoreless game. Second down and nine.
Second down and five. That would have been a disappointing run. It's even a worse throw. I know how they said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And that'll bring up third and one. And the quarterback, and he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! And here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. No doubt about it. That guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. Cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. And it's first and ten. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty. The cornerback goes down. Zoom on his face. I want to see if he's crying. I Second down in a lot. And an eight-yard gain on that one. Like when Bricks' mom decided to move back in with us. Third down and eight. Oh, look at this guy break tack. And he's off to the races. And he scores! Still probably better than I could. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked what do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 And that's a pass that went nowhere. Oh, that's like me at the hotel bar every night. Hey, maybe you need a better opening line than you want to see the teeth thrown out of the roof of my mouth? What? The book How to Pick Up Girls and Tell Them Something Unique About Yourself. That's unique. You know, a lot of guys talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and the offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. And 
It's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And they'll keep the drive alive as he rifles it in there and picks up seven yards. Second and three. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. You can't keep a good mutant down. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. And it's two minutes left in the half. I can't wait to the halftime show. Second and three. Totally unnecessary. <laughs> I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. <laughs> that's a TR pass play, and that's not gonna get it done. The offense needs to move the ball upfield. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. And that'll be second and eight to go. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. Third down and nine. And the defense quickly calls a timeout. They want to get the ball back. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. Keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Second and one. Ouch! What is this? Andy's run. Oh, holy smokes! He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. And they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Graham. Well, and the defense, too. And the quarterback signals for a hurry up offense. Hey, Graham, what? No huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage. And More like a mafia hit. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. Damn, say goodnight to that guy, Brex. Uh, goodnight to that guy, Brex. You're an idiot. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Ben? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. 
prompted. If he does that again, they'll drop him. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8, the greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? It's a close battle at the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. We're at the start of the third quarter in a nail biter. The teams line up for the second half kickoff. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a frog in my bed. It was a chimp wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Looks like the defense called the ginormous dirty trick. The defense knocked the pass down, and quarterbacks hate that. Second down and ten. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Third down and six. And he punched his way out of that tackle. Oh, sure, now he catches it. Oh, man, he just killed that guy. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. Hey, man, I was hanging on the kettle now. They all have... <laughs> Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Hey, Claire, what if it... Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. Does anyone have a rule book? Because that sounds like he's making stuff up. Uh, do we have a rule book? It's propping up your chair so you can reach the table without spilling your food, idiot. Second down, and a defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And it's first and ten. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Oh, man, Brooks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game... Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about 
lock. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit, Grim. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And it's first and ten. Target more often. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. First down and don't doubt. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. First down and three. First and ten. <laughs> the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to... Oh, man, he just crushed him. <laughs> I gotta see that again. I had a kid once like that walking down the sidewalk texting with his earbuds in. Freaked him out. He said, hey, what'd you do that for? I said, I teach you a lesson. What lesson, he said? That unless you're a baboon with big baboon balls, you gotta pay attention. Yeah, you're along the jungle, you know? He could go all the way. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Someone better buy this guy dinner tonight because he just saved it. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And it's first and ten. First and ten. And that's a great nine-yard completion there. Hey, it ain't great if you don't score or move the chains. And that'll bring up second and one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. I just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking. I mean, when they're not young. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Second down and more than the QB would like. And that's the way you do it. Eat up chunks of yards with pinpoint. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And that'll bring up third and one. says who's next and he's off to the races holy mother of mutant mayhem he scored the offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster they better be careful because when those guys die it's forfeit city You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. And they just popped his eyes in the back of his head. That quarterback's going to be hurting. Or dead. Second down in a mile. for every yard and he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive up oh holy montezuma's revenge that's a crap your pants and die tackle oh, that montezuma was very vengeful wasn't he bricks wonder what made him so mad yeah it was probably all the diarrhea no, you're probably right yeah they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort and he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to mexico forever to crack their pants Huh. Sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they are not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? The 10! That is such bullshit. This game is fucked up. Man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. The offense is down to their final receiver. They'll be playing shorthanded for the rest of the game. Uh, and if they lose him, will they have to forfeit? Uh, talk about pressure. I'm going to have to take the value before this one ends. Hey, you hold it out on me. First down and three. Right, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. They're gaining on him. Hey, come on, move your ass. I got a saw up running on this asshole. The 20. He 
He's at the 10. He intercepted the QB's pass and returns it for a touchdown. Mets now just salt in the moon. Mets peeing in the ashes of the smoldering remains. Ah, you are truly a master poet, Grim. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. A cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry up offense. And he held on to that one for a first down. With the, the thrills win by forfeit. And there's no better place to win than on your home field. Warmer or nicer? Well, with uh, prettier women. There's not much left of the opposition, and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. The alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Oh, how about if, how about if you shut the hell up right now and we go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say? Yo, seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...